why having a job is a bad thing. But Eli, we all need to have a job. It's a good thing. We can provide for our family. Oh man, Eli, he don't know what you're talking about. I know, I know, I know. Before you start crucifying me, there's other ways for you to actually provide for your family. So my mentor always told me, well, Eli, if you don't have a dream, you're gonna end up working for someone who has a dream. And honestly, I took that straight to the heart, right here. So on today's video, I wanna let you guys know exactly why do I believe having a job is a real bad thing for everyone? And what kind of stuff that you can do to actually get yourself out your job? And we're starting now. Thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community over 8,000 strong. If you guys would like to help support that community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989, and don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys do decide to join this community, I sincerely want to say thank you in advance. Question of the day, do you like your job? And if you had a way to get out of it, would you? Comment down below, let me and the community know. So, it's Friday, you just got paid, and you're like, man, I just got paid, I'm about to go, and I'm about to spend all this money, yeah. So now you're gonna wait in the line of the bank and be like, oh man, this line is so long, I'm just spending like a whole hour here waiting in line for this bank for me to cash my check. Get direct deposit, plain as that. You have the weekends, you have Saturday, you have Sundays off. Saturday, you have a blast. Friday, you're like, you know what? I'm not going to sleep so I can enjoy the rest of my day because I have no work tomorrow. But Saturday, you're having a blast. Sunday comes and you're like, yeah, man, I'm still off, I'm still off. But then, Sunday night comes and you have this feeling in your stomach and you're like, oh, I'm sick. Why are you sick, bro? Because I got to do it all over again for five days straight. I don't want to, but I have to. Now, of course, this video is not to say, hey, you guys should leave your job, it sucks. You guys have to provide for your family. You guys have to put food on the table for your family. So that's understandable. So I'm gonna go over four reasons why I believe jobs are bad. But at the same time, I'm gonna speak on my experience. Of course, there's tons of people, not really tons of people, but there are people who love their job. <laughs> All right, I'm just not one of them. So let's see, what's the first reason why I believe the jobs are bad? You get pennies on the dollar. That means you're making your jobs thousands of dollars and they're paying you just dollars. So let me get this straight. You put in time, you put in your efforts, you sold that product, you did everything that you could do and you made that sell. The job just pretty much established the pace for you to come in and shine and they said, you know what? Since I did all the hard work, I'm gonna take 73% of what you did and don't worry, I'm gonna give you 27% back. So in experience with me, when I used to work at Kmart, I got paid $7 an hour. Oh my gosh, Eli, $7 an hour? What the heck are you thinking? That was over 10 years ago, I thought I was making money and I was part-time, so I wasn't. But at the same time, I was told that I sold within a week span, I helped sell $4,000 worth of shoes. And how much did I get back? $200 for that week. $200 for that week. I helped the company sell $4,000 and they took that $4,000 and turned around and said, hey, here's 200 out of that. Math is not my strong suit, but there's definitely something wrong with that. But let's go to number two. Number two, they lead with fear. They lead with an iron fist and they talk like this. Well, they don't really talk like this, but they tell you, hey, you better do this, you better do that, or you face the possibility of termination. The correct term is, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, that can lead to future punishments and consequences up to termination. But in our mind, here's what we really hear. Man, you better do what you do, man, or else you ain't gonna be able to take care of your family, you're not gonna be able to take care of your son, you're not even gonna take care of your daughter, you're not gonna put food on the table, and you may lose your house, or you're gonna get evicted. Oh my God, what is it that you want me to do? Yes, master, yes, ma I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, boss, yes, boss, what is it that you want me to do? Come on, turn around, turn around, boss. You want me to kiss your ass? Sets? So, yes, they lead with fear. I don't know about you guys, but there's only one bean that I love to be afraid of. There's only one person that I love to fear, 
and I've never seen them. I've never heard him talk. And you guys know where I'm going at this. Number three, you're not in control. You're not in control. Let's, let's be real. You're not really in control of your whole entire life. Reason being is because your job is in control. They have the control to let you know where you're supposed to live, what can you afford, and if you can still work there. Uh, Eli, I make the decision on where I live. Well, if that's the case, I want you guys to make the decision to live in a million dollar property. Uh, Eli, I, I can't do that because uh, I don't get paid that much. Exactly. They control your income, therefore, they control what you do, where you live, what you get to eat, what can you afford, and they also have the power to let you know if you still work there. But Eli, we have human rights. They can't fire us, we're gonna be put on unemployment. I'm in a field where I get to go to plenty of offices, and I see a lot of old people, some young, get laid off either because the business merged, or they just wanna cut back on budgets. And they said, hey, you know what? To make our company better, for us to save money, let's cut some of these people off. Does anybody say, yeah, but you know, uh, if we fire these much people, what about their family? What about where they live? What about what they can afford? What about their lifestyle? I believe they say, who cares about their lifestyle? I need money and we're not making money, so we're gonna cut all these people off to make money. More than likely, they're probably not saying that, but in my mind, that's how I feel like they're talking. Number four, mistakes are failures. We live in a life where tons of stuff are made on mistakes. The raisin, it was cause grapes were left out too long in the sun and they dried up. That was a mistake. They took that mistake and took it all the way to success. We live in a world where we have to learn from our mistakes. But when you make a mistake at a job, you're trained to not make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. And if you do make a mistake, they're gonna pound and pound and pound you and just hit you so hard in the head. And trust me, it doesn't matter all the good stuff you did, all they care about is that one mistake. You could do this and you can do that and you can do this and you can do that. But yeah, you remember that one time where you had that one blemish right there? Yeah, but that was three years ago. Yeah, but it's still on your record. All right, cool, That's, we have a record. Let's go to the record of all the good stuff we did. Oh no, uh, I'm sorry, you, you, we, don't have, we don't keep records of that. We keep records of all your mistakes. Obviously, I am talking on experience. So if you guys don't experience some of the stuff, you have the best job and you're one out of a million. Congratulations. But yes, mistakes are failures. They want no mistakes. But we live in a world that learns from mistakes that you're supposed to fall for you to have the ability to get back up and be like, hey, what did I trip on? Oh, that right there? That was just a pebble. Okay, I know I walk in a different manner from now on. So that's my four reasons why having a job is real bad. Now, if you guys agree with me, that's cool. If you guys are still watching, that's even better. Now, what is it that we can do? Hmm? What is it that we can do to get out of a job? First of all, I do believe that we need to have multiple sources of income. If your sole job is your only source of income, that's completely bad, because you're one mistake away from actually not having a job. But if you have multiple sources of income and you still have a job, that's okay. You could be like, all right, hey, you know what? I don't wanna work as much hours as much no more because I'm making this much with my multiple source of income. And when I mean by multiple source of income, I don't mean by, hey, going out there to get another job. That means something that you provide and you create the income and you're 100% in control. Get it? You're in control. Because once you're in control, you walk with a different aspect. You walk with a different swag. They could come up to you and be like, hey, we need you to do overtime. Uh, no, nah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't want to. I, I, no, it's cool. You can do tons of stuff. You can have online blog and get monetized from that and you get a couple of dollars there. Then you have a YouTube channel and you create a whole YouTube community and you get a couple of dollars here. And then you create your own website and you sell your own products and sell your own stuff and get a couple of dollars there. And then you have some other business that you do personally on your own, on your spare time. And you get some other income there and you have multiple sources of income. And now obviously you have all these sources of income that can combine and just in case you lose that J-O-B, just over broke. J-O-B, just over broke. That's a good acronym, I'm keeping that one, I made that up. 
But Eli, I don't know how to create an additional source of income. And that goes into my number two, expand your knowledge base. Expand your knowledge base. You guys have to grow this. You've been given a four pound brain that can do so much, guys, and we just take it as a sponge. We can learn so much from it and just do one thing. Listen, I had one conversation, one conversation with someone, and that one conversation unlocked a piece of my mind that bought me at least 500 extra dollars a month with just one conversation. He said one word and he doesn't even know he said it, but he said one word, it just unlocked. And I applied that knowledge that I just got and then it created me an additional $500 a month. So I believe expanding your knowledge, once, you're exp once you expand this, like this is, this right here, this right here is the money. You're worth pennies from the neck down but worth millions from the neck up. But what do people work on? They work out their body, they're eating, they're eating habit. They, they focus on their body, work out, all right? Push some muscles, lack thereof. But they don't work out their mind by just opening up a book. Having somebody that can talk into their life, having somebody that has what they want in life, it always bothers me where we take advice from people who's way below us or who's just about the same as us. Oh, no, you should do this with oh, Like, yeah, you think so? You think so? All right, all right. But if we take advice from somebody who has what we want in life and see what they did in their life and what can we apply that they're doing, what can we apply to our life to actually change? Or, hey, let me just have a simple conversation with this guy and see the way he thinks. That is a life changer. Trust me, I know. I mean, I came from making $300 every two weeks and found somebody who's making a certain amount of money and I talked to him and I see the way he thinks and I was like, oh my God. Thank God that I came to you and talked to you and have a conversation with you. Thank God. Which is, which is practically my number three. Associate with people who has what you want. All right, see, we ran over that already. And number four, start now. Start now, don't say, hey, I gotta wait to get everything ready. I have tons of people who's like, hey, you know what? Hey, I see what you're doing with YouTube and you're doing all this, I wanna start my own YouTube channel and I need this, oh, I want this, I want this. Listen guys, when I started my YouTube channel, I had none of this, none of this whatsoever. But I still uploaded it each and every day and I still did that and progressively, I learned. See, you don't need all the stuff. My, hey, listen, when the dream is big enough, when the dream is big enough, the facts don't matter. You'll find a way, you'll find a way. And I'm glad that I did it with none of this and I'm glad I had no technology and I'm glad I had none of the stuff, but what I had was a dream. And I'm not saying my dream was to be a YouTube channel guy. I'm just saying what I had was a dream. And I said, hey, whatever it takes. And that's what you have to have, a whatever it takes mentality, whatever it takes. All right, and then you start doing it, use what you have, and then you're like, hey, you know what? Hey, I can add this, and then you probably get a background. All right, hey, maybe I can add this, all right? And then you get a, a, a lava mic or a lavalier mic. And then you're like, hey, you know what? I mastered that, hey, let's go add this, and then you get lights, and then you get to the point, and to the point that, and to be honest with you, I'm still working on it today, so the thing is, start now. Get up and start now. If you want to do something in life, if you want to create some additional income, think about it, read, expand your mind, expand your knowledge base, associate with people that has what you want, and then you start now. Don't wait. Don't be like, all right, in July, I'm gonna do this. No, today, you're gonna do this. Don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. If you can start right now after this video, watch this video first. I mean, don't start while you're watching this video. But if you can start after this video, start today. I don't know how much more I can express that. If you wanna lose weight, if you wanna work out, start today. Don't be like, oh, you know what? Next week I'm going on a diet. No, start today. And if you failed, you get up and you start again. Whew. Whew. What's the next thing? Yes, number five, budget. 
budget is crucial because it doesn't make sense for you to have an additional source of income and you're like, oh man, I'm making an additional $300 a week, which means I can get that car I finally wanted. So I'm gonna take this $300 that I'm making additionally to pay off that car payment. No, now what you have to do is you take that money, that you extra additional money, and what are you gonna do with it? You budget it in the right spot. All right, hey, I made an extra $300. What can I do with that $300? Matter of fact, let me take that $300 and go buy something for the business to produce more. Or hey, let me go buy assets. Or hey, let me invest into a stock. Hey, that's gonna bring me some more money. Hey, let me just do this. Let me start another business. Or let me put some money into this. No, and whatever you do, budget your income. Yes, make sure your bills are paid. Cut down some of your bills, if possible. All right, look at what you definitely need and look at some stuff that you just want and see what, what can I cut about it? What can I cut? Listen, I have enough to pay for the fastest internet, but I called them up and I said, hey, I don't need no $100 bill. I like where it's at, I understand my contract is over. What can I do to keep it right about 50? Or you can slow your, um, you, you can slow your speed down, okay? But you know, you if you're doing live streams, it's not gonna be clear. I mean, oh, oh, all right, no problem, I could. It's clear enough for them to hear me, right? Yeah. I cut it down to $50, and I do have enough. I do have, I do, I cut down my, I paid off my bill, I paid off my phone, because I was paying monthly on it, just an extra nine bucks. I paid it off so I can have nine extra dollars, and I call it the opportunity cost, which means that's nine additional dollars that I can take and put into something that brings me back. My money is working for me. That's what I mean by budget. Have your money work for you. Employ every dollar you have that you can employ, all right? Whether it be in dividend paying stocks, whether it be in yourself, make it work for you 100%. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I want to know what you guys think about everything I said today. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment down below, leave a thumbs up, and have a beautiful day. And don't forget to always, always, always work and grind. Everything.